One of the things that I actually really like about Gary V is that even though he talks about working 16 hours a day and working your face off, one of the things he does really well, the thing is that Gary V is so committed to the process that he doesn't waste a lot of time during the day. Now in this video, I wanna share what I think is a way to 100X your productivity by focusing more on what you do while you're awake versus depriving yourself of sleep, of all these fun things you wanna do, and making your days count. So the first 100 extra productivity hack is the first and foremost, do the things you enjoy. You know, an example of what not to do is Andre Agassi, who was one of the top tennis players in the world. And if you've read his biography open, He talks about how, since he was a kid, his dad kind of pushed his own unfulfilled potential of becoming the tennis champion onto little Andre, and he drilled him from the time he was a kid. They even bought a home where he could put a full tennis court in the backyard, and they would have him hit 50, 100,000 balls a year, believing that if his kid hit that many balls, he would be unbeatable. Well, yeah, Andre became number one in the world, super young, super successful, but he was super miserable and he was always rebelling. He got into drugs. I think he even did meth at some point. He really unraveled and he derailed. And this is in stark contrast to some people who you find have that continual up and up and up success because they really are consciously choosing that that's the game they wanna be the best at more than anyone. But for Andre, he never loved it and he was always pushed into it. And so, You can force yourself and push yourself into doing anything you don't like. Anyone can be successful at something they don't like with a good work ethic. But the repercussions come in the other aspects of your life. The collateral damage will show up in your health, your relationships with drug and alcohol use. It's going to show up in some other like soul level discontent. The second thing is dedicating one hour a day to a concrete habit or skill acquisition. Skills, number one, more than anything, are what pay the bills. So if you're lost or you're uncertain, the main thing I would dedicate your life to is acquiring a valuable concrete skill set. For me, writing all of my books, which so far I think has been five, has all been done in one hour per day. Like I did it with a full-time job. I wrote my last full book while in my first year of medical school. It's possible, like it really is possible. I'm not superhuman. The reason is because I dedicated one hour per day to developing the craft of writing, of How do I write? How much can I write in one hour? What writing styles? How do I freaking create a book, market it, sell it, hire designers, editors? I don't, I did not know any of this. It was the commitment to one hour a day. I'm going to study the craft of writing a book and selling a book. And it was just in that one hour a day that over the last three years, I've produced five. And of course, there's going to be plenty more, I'm sure. But I didn't go off on this crazy sabbatical. I didn't quit my life. I had a full-time job for the first one or two. And then I was in med school for the others. So it's possible by dedicating one hour a day to a concrete skill set that could be programming, video editing, improving your conversational skills, being more friendly or personal. Think about what is the concrete skill set you need to develop. The third way to be way more productive is actually to have more grit than anyone else. So for example, when you see people that you think are super productive, you see two things. Number one is that they're not wasting a lot of time. And number two is that they're getting more things done. But often the way they do that is they're focusing on doing fewer things better. And that's this idea from Warren Buffett. So there's this great story between, it's about Warren Buffett, between Warren Buffett and Mike Flint, who is his private airline pilot. And the story goes something like this, that Mike Flint was his personal airplane pilot for 10 years. And according to Flint, he was talking about his career goals with Buffett and his boss asked him to go through a three-step exercise. And he said the first thing was to write down his top 25 career goals. So he took some time and then he wrote it down. And then he said to review the list and circle his top five priorities in those goals. So eventually, you know, he decided on the top five. And then at this point, Flint, his pilot, had two lists. The five items he circled were list A, and then the 20 items he did not circle, that were not the priorities, were list B. So that's when Flint said he'd work on his top five priorities and then eventually get to the 20 others. But that's when Buffett said, no, you've got it all wrong, Mike. 
Everything you didn't circle just became your avoid at all cost list. No matter what, these things get no attention from you until you're done with the top five. So this is a story showing that maniacal focus on developing one core pattern, one core process, one core goal, and the core habits to reach those first. So in my mind, productivity is all around making sure that you feel good on a daily basis, which you can do by doing more of what you like, being maniacally focused, and being gritty in the sense of outlasting everyone because you're very focused on specific things you really enjoy. Now again, these are some of the topics we also talk about in that free goal setting worksheet. It's the first link right there in the description box. Click that, download it. You'll also get a free email course on more of my goal setting principles and stories, all right? My last two videos you can also snag right there and right there. And otherwise, I'll see you soon.